Hello, I am a scientist at the SCP Foundation, a place where hundreds of creatures are safely contained, including uh, SCP-173, a creature which only moves when you're not looking at it. Now, uh, we have run into uh, a lot of issues with this guy. I mean, this killed countless people, and I don't know how much longer we can contain this creature. SCP-173 has breached containment. I have no idea where it is. It could be anywhere. Wait, wh wh what was that? It's, it's right there, down the hall. Okay, I just I just have to stare at it, not blink. I can do this. Oh no, what do I, what do I do? Wh what happened? Wh what is that? Hello, I am one of the survivors of the SCP Breachman. I am hiding in a bunker and am now running out of food. Due to this, I will have to come to the surface and survive 100 days in this SCP infested world. Will I be able to survive against these monsters or die trying? Welcome to my 100 day journey in a hardcore SCP apocalypse. Also, we are approaching 80,000 subscribers. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So, uh, consider subscribing. All right. It, it was day one. And yeah, this was the first day of this scary adventure. Anyways, I woke up in my bunker and uh, looked inside this chest. It had a wooden sword and uh, some carrots and even some iron boots. Yeah, this was, this was pretty good. Got some armor and a sword that is, well, complete garbage. All right, well, anyways, I went up the ladder, stole my own crafting table, and took a step outside. My goals were to get some wood, so I cut down a tree with a carrot, because, well, I guess it just works. Welcome to Minecraft. After cutting down some trees, I encountered this cute creature. What is this thing? Oh, he gave me tons of heart. Oh, and he's following me. After saying hello to this thing that was just as clingy as my non-existent girlfriend, I ruthlessly killed one cow and a fly. Uh, just for fun. No other reason. Later, I came across an abandoned house and got a hold of this electric stick. So I took this weapon and gave the gift of 15 million volts to this cow and turned every piece of this body into medium well steak. Well, you know what they say? When you release havoc upon an innocent creature, karma may, well, karma may catch up with you. What is that thing? Oh, he's coming after me. What is that? And well, yeah. Yeah, that, that's what happened. I I ran into my first SCP. This guy, this guy was not to be messed with. So I went the opposite way and approached a weird abandoned house. Oh, that is a dead guy. And he's got a journal. Well, good thing I don't know how to read. Yeah, I got some pretty good stuff in there. Well, after that, I made some stone tools and actually acquired some iron. Yeah, on day one. Anyways, I explored some more buildings and found a hunter's knife. Yeah, well, this thing did... A quite a bit of damage. Well, after I made my way home, because at night, thousands of zombies spawn. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did forget to mention. One of the SCPs is SCP-008. It's, uh, it's a zombie plague, so not only do I have to worry about these regular SCPs, I also have to worry about the zombie apocalypse. But let me tell you, these 100 days, these 100 days were gonna get interesting. Yeah, so I made a chest to store all of the two items I had and also made a backpack. Wow, day two already. This day I explored across the ocean and uh, found a village that had tons of dead people. Something you probably shouldn't venture into. So due to this, I stole from their village because there is no one there to stop me. And then I actually found a shotgun and a pistol. Oh, and I also found a lot of diamonds. Anyways, I came across this weird doctor and went to go investigate. What? is that and what is it doing hello oh he sells stuff okay after terrorizing the poor plague doctor i came across the same scp that i saw from before so well you know me instead of turning around and running away i decided to observe this creature it's that thing i saw earlier my second time seeing it running away from me it's scared of me if i shoot it I'm not doing anything Don't let me kill it Okay, I guess I killed it. 
somehow. Later on, I actually ran into another SCP. I know, I'm running into a lot of these guys. Anyways, it had a, like a mask or something on. It looked somewhat like a deer, I think. But again, instead of running away from this thing like a normal person, I went straight towards it. Okay, that is something that's not human. What is that thing? I'm kind of scared to go up to it. Yeah, so anyways, I went home and made some diamond pants, and these things would come quite in handy. But hey, one more thing. Something that was not good. Not good at all. So you know how most people, if they see a zombie at their door, they keep it closed? Well, I decided to invite this big guy over for a freaking dinner party. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That was not good. That was not good. That was not good. Should not open my door. Day three, I thought it was a great idea to place some thumbtacks on the ground. But it soon proved to be a horrible decision because I literally stepped on them. Not even a minute later. Yes, I fell for my own trap. I, I don't even know how that happened. So yeah, those things got taken down faster than you can count to three because I wasn't going to die because of my own trap. That would be horrible. Okay, well, I needed some more iron, coal. I basically needed everything. So I made a mine under my house and uh, went mining. After mining, there was this weird zombie. I mean, look at this thing. It's huge. It looks like it's been growing out of a petri dish. I mean, look, it has like zombies growing out of him or something. Day four, I made an iron chest plate. Yeah, I was, I was now suited up in armor. I was feeling a lot better about myself. Well, later I did something completely useless once again and crafted a music disc. Yeah, so I, uh, I made stall the music disc that literally sounds like an elementary school recorder concert. Kind of sounds like this. Okay, don't, don't ask me why I did that. I, I just wanted to. Okay, I went way off topic. What was I, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, Minecraft. Okay, so I decided to dance the tunes and then went mining and found some diamonds. But uh, there was only one, but I guess that's better than none. Well, this has been fun. Day five, I went outside and encountered this cute creature again. Oh, it's this guy again. I then proceeded to, um, uh, okay, let's just, let's just skip this part. After that unspeakable moment that we'll never talk about again, I came across a bridge and what I found up there was terrifying. Who are you? <gasps> it's coming after me. What is this? It's like a black figure. Oh yeah. Thank God for guns. Man, I hope I don't run into more of those things. Later on, I was exploring and found this happy family of geese. Man, there is something completely completely wrong with me. Like, what drove me to do that? Well, after killing some animals for no reason at all, I came across this shack and well, inside was something not to be messed with. It's those things I saw before. They do not look good. They do not look good indeed. Those look pretty dangerous. I should probably leave them alone. Yeah, so after seeing these things, these creatures inside the house, I decided it would be a wise decision to open the doors. Yeah, this went as expected. Oh no, oh no. They're after me, they're after me, they're after me. Oh, okay, okay. These guys are scary. They are scary. They're probably very dangerous too. Day six, I was getting farther and farther away from the base, but I actually found this town and it was surrounded by SCPs. And actually later on, I do decide to come back here. And well, let me tell you, this place, this place was a bad idea to adventure to. Like, it was so bad. You know, I'm just gonna wait till you see it. Just, you'll see what I mean. All right, so yeah, I went exploring a bit more and ran into this yellow thing I like to call Bonanzilla. That's not, that's not his actual name, but I, I like, I just made it up on the spot. You know what? Everyone call this thing Bonanzilla. That's, that's what we're gonna call it. Anyways, I just sat from afar and observed this thing. Well, after I went home and made myself an assault rifle. Yeah, no, this thing would be pretty powerful. Like, pretty damn powerful. Okay, well, I'm just noticing now that I recorded an extra day. An extra day. So I actually survive 101 days. Um, I guess I have to change the title of this video. Anyways, I don't feel like fixing this at all. So let's just all pretend this is still day six. Look, I want everyone to comment right now. Day six was amazing and my favorite day. Nothing bad happened at all. Anyways, on day six, I found some weird substance on a dead guy's body. What is this? I don't think I should be trying this, but I'm gonna do it anyways. What? Oh, I don't feel too good. Oh, 
Well, that was an experience. All right, just don't do drugs, kids. This this is what happens. Okay, well, it's on day six. I had a midnight snack of the finest aged apple with gourmet salmon pink maggots with a splash of rich black plague sauce. Why did I do that? What drove me to do that? To eat a rotten apple. Wow. Day seven, I, I actually did nothing. I jumped off of a homemade diving board into a disease infested river. At the start of day eight, I used a diamond pickaxe to mine some stone, explored some caves, shot a cockroach with my shotgun because screw those things. Day nine, a plague doctor literally broke into my base. Oh, look at this guy. He just stuck into my house. He's, he's got some horns. Oh, you're pretty cool, aren't you? The plague doctor. Hmm. So I did have a thought surfacing in my mind. This place not being safe enough to live. I mean, I have run into plenty of SCPs here. So you know what I did? I packed up all of my things and ventured out to find a new place to call home. Later on when exploring, I found this building. And well, this place had some... It had some unwelcoming friends inside. <gasps> that's not good. That's not good. What are you? Day 10, I ran into some guys with crossbows. I don't even know why they were trying. I mean, this fight is equivalent to if a caveman tried to battle the US Army. Yes, guns outrule Ooga Booga weapons. Later on, I ran into this place. At the time, I didn't know what it was. But eventually, I learned that this place was the SCP Foundation. Yes, the place where all those creatures were contained. But uh, this place, I would need to stay clear of it for the time being. Well, I got far away from the lab and found somewhere to set up camp for the time being. Day 11 was great. You know, I found a new area to build the house. It was actually pretty open and the ground was relatively flat. So this would be perfect. Anyways, I didn't really have enough time to build. So I just went to bed and waited for the next day. Or should I say two days? Because for days 12 and 13, I started making the base. But well, before I started, a plague doctor approached me. Oh, hey, this guy again. I'm gonna have to kidnap you. Okay, now I was ready to start building the base. So I wanted to first make some walls to protect me from the SCPs and anything out there. So I made some pillars and placed some reinforced iron bars. You know these things, these, these iron bars, you can't actually break them with a regular pickaxe or even be blown up. So yeah, pretty powerful bars that would help me survive these beasts roaming the land. What did I do today? What did I do? Oh, right. I continued the wall. That's that's all. Uh, nothing nothing really happened today. Like literally nothing happened today. So I noticed that I completely ran out of iron for the iron bars. So I decided to take a dip into the mine. So I dug down and you know got some iron and actually got some diamonds as well. So so pretty good. I started off day 17 with crafting a diamond pickaxe since my uh, other one broke. And then after I ran into a problem. So outside there were well there was this man remember that guy that i saw from before the big mutant zombie yep well uh he was right outside my base this thing is huge after aborting this disappointment of a zombie i crafted up a bunch of iron bars to finally finish off the walls you know what i was thinking today what if i were to make a castle yes like a big castle with tons of traps huge walls that would make me unstoppable i mean imagine that i'm just sitting in a castle sitting in my castle throne Anyways, I'm going way off topic again. The point is, I wanted to start making castles, so I started to build this thing. While building the castle walls, I decided to save another one of these doctors. So I showed it some candy, and it followed me into his forever home. I then released the other doctor that I trapped in a small box, and well, I... <laughs> I released it into a bigger box, so it just made no difference. Either way, they're both getting kidnapped. Soon after, I danced on one of these guys to assert my dominance. Also, when did I get a literal villager's face? I mean, I'm being serious. I have absolutely no footage for me doing that. Like, th did I just rip his skin off of his face or something? That that's that's horrible. Why would I do that? So, day 19, I made this thing called a botany pot or a, a bonsai pot or something. I, I don't know. It just grew trees or it did something. But you know what I did? You know what I did on the night of day 19? So, I was just playing around with some security stuff and I accidentally locked one of my furnaces by putting a keypad on it. Didn't know you could do that, but uh, apparently you can. And you know how stupid this is? Like, like I lost all of the stuff I had in the furnace. And there was a lot. I think there was a, probably a stack of coal. And I think 
30 iron or something like that. Just like a huge waste of resources. All right, day 20. A uh, day filled with fun activities like mining and mining. And finally, my favorite, mining. So, wow, what a fun day. Day 21. You know, you know what they say about protection. You just can't have enough of it. So I made some key panels and uh, made a door in which to get into my base, you have to type in a key code. So I made mine a very unique and... Uh, very very hard to guess password and then well after the hard work i was tired and i uh, went to sleep that was the day okay day 22 i made an upgrade to the base i added a stone brick floor to contrast with a stone brick wall okay i know nothing about building day 23 um one of those doctors decided to stick his long nose in my face why are you sticking your long nose in my face weird because i kind of like it well now since i had everything pretty much laid out in the base I wanted to move the chest and whatever was in the middle of my base towards the walls. So yeah, I just uh, moved everything to make some room. And finally, at the end of the day, I jumped on a jukebox for whatever reason. Day 24. Man, what a great morning. I went outside and saw a doctor getting brutally attacked by this green man. But since I didn't feel like saving anyone's life today, I left him to get pulverized by this zombie. I stole some flowers from him, so I mean, I'm happy. He's probably not because he's freaking dead. Well, I took the flowers inside and they they did absolutely nothing. But the fact that it was stolen put some pretty high value on it. And then after I crafted some shotgun shells and traveled to a nearby building where uh, a scary looking SCP lived. Well, or should I say SCPs in plural. Stuff was about to get serious. Right there. Got red eyes. Oh! Oh! Yeah, so for some reason they can hit me or something. Look, I was not wanting to stay there to find out. Like, like I ran fast, like probably faster than Usain Bolt at the moment. I mean, I was completely terrified. I then went inside a snow biome and then did some American fishing. I mean, who needs a fishing rod when you have a literal shotgun? When arriving home, I decided to channel my inner alcoholism and drink some vodka. And yep, this was my life for the next four minutes. Why do I do this? Day 25 and 26, I was exploring this ice biome I found. So I then after decided to climb this mountain for literally no reason because I'm simply suffering from a major shortage of brain cells. Anyways, I made my way to the top of the mountain and rode down in style. Oh yeah, this is cool. Look at this, I'm just riding down the mountain. Also, no one ever told me you can ride boats on ice. Like, are you kidding me? This is like the first time I've ever done this. And I was like drifting like there was no tomorrow. Like this is like the most fun I've ever had ever playing Minecraft. I then did some exploring and called it a night. Well, that was, that was not exactly what happened. When I went to bed, a blood moon rose. <gasps> a blood moon? Oh, this is not good. There's light over there. I think I gotta run over there. Oh, here you go. They're all after me. There's so many. Oh, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta barricade myself. I think they're breaking in. I soon found a safe place to block myself off and I drank for some reason. Um, uh, why? Why do I do this to myself? I mean, it is a blood moon and I'm over here getting drunk in a room that is completely not safe. Day 27. Day 27, I woke up and my head was still spinning from last night. Anyways, after my head stopped spinning, I went down from the tower I stayed in and went exploring around this ice biome to see what I could find. Oh, and it's snowing. Oh, that's so cool. This ice biome was great. Oh! Oh, he came out of nowhere. Holy... I heard him and he just dropped down on me. Oh, look, a shack. Let's see what's in there. Hopefully something good. I definitely need some food. 100% because I am, I'm not doing very well on that. Oh, a dead man. Look at that. Someone got killed here. Oh, and some food. Just what I needed. Later, I soon noticed that it was raining and snowing, which like hurts my brain. I don't even know if that's possible. At the start of day 28, I saw something quite cool and um, pretty beautiful. Whoa, look at this. That is so cool. This biome is amazing. The lights that go in the sky, I don't remember the name, but it looks pretty cool. All right, time to go back home. Anyways, after gazing upon the sky, I traveled back home and decided to feed this doctor some rotten human flesh. Here, I'll give you some rotten flesh. Have fun. Here's your dinner. Here's your 
Is your only meal. Is your only meal you're ever gonna get. There you go. Here's your big dinner. Why is he not picking it up? See, when looking back at this, maybe he didn't want to eat rotten flesh because it is something that is not typically eaten at all. Unless you want to get like 20 diseases. Day 29, I was building the outside of my base. Replacing the floor with stone bricks. Well, this was until I saw some mistakes. I like to call zombies. What? Are you kidding me? They're inside the walls. Oh, it's coming after me. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. It does so much damage. Yeah, so I killed it and I dropped some copper. The ore equivalent to sh Hey, day 30. Wow, what a great day. I made a gold backpack. A gold backpack. That's definitely a lot better than the iron one I had before. Day 31. I was searching around in the search thing in the corner. I don't know what this thing is called. Anyways, I found like a enchanting table pet. Basically allows me to enchant things without having to go through the brutal process of making all the bookshelves and all the other things that goes in with the enchanting. I hate the enchanting system so much. Well, anyways, I went mining to find some more obsidian to make this pet thing, whatever you want to call this. While mining, I found a cute little rat friend. So I approached it and uh, I said, hello. Hello. What are you doing? <gasps> I know you may not believe me, but I did not mean to do that. What? Why did I, why did I do that? Like what, what was the point of doing that? I just pulverized the poor guy for no reason. All right, uh, day 32. So you know that rat that I accidentally pulverized with my shotgun? Yeah, so I, I really wanted to make a funeral for him. So I stuck him in my oven and I had him for breakfast. Just, uh, just normal things you do with roadkill. Then after I finally crafted the enchanting table pet and decided to test it out. After testing out some enchants, I made an emerald scythe. Yeah, this thing, this thing does like nine damage. Oh, and I also put smite four on it. You know what this does? It, uh, it does extra damage to undead enemies. And well, this weapon was, uh, pretty insane. Come here, little buddy. Oh! Look at how much damage it did. All right, day 33. I think all the unknown substances I ingested got to me because the villager face I had on was, like, glowing or something. It's like a rainbow. It was pretty cool, but, uh, pretty terrifying because I don't know what was happening. And, well, and then after I, um, crafted a DNA sampler, which is used to grow mobs in a cage to harvest their loot. And I, uh, I wanted to get a creeper so I can get gunpowder, which is then used to make ammo. While out, I was actually running out of food as well. Like, it was, it was bad. Like, I think I was resorting to eating maggots at one point. It was not looking good for me. All right, so... It was approaching night and well i didn't find one creeper what are the chances of that i didn't find any creepers and i was exploring for like 20 minutes straight anyways so i was i was pretty mad so i went home and well i ran into a few other problems when i entered the base i realized that i needed a stronger dna sampler so yep i wasted 20 iron so yay what an absolutely useless day. Day 34, I was in the mine looking for some more diamonds to craft the upgraded DNA sampler. So yeah, just a, a day filled with tunneling like a goddamn mole rat. Day 35, I uh, I wanted to make some better storage. So I, I upgraded every single chest to iron. And man, this was way more expensive than I thought. I mean, I'm now suffering from extreme crippling debt because I literally wasted like, I think... 120 iron or something it's like two stacks of iron and well i was about to make the dna sampler but then i noticed that i haven't even finished the outside walkway yet i completely lost track of that well finally i made the dna sampler and it only took what like three days to do so anyways instead of finding a creeper like i probably should have done i decided to enchant my armor yeah no i play with this enchantment like way longer than i need to for some reason this was like so much fun for me after i got my pokey thing and finally asked a creeper if i could steal its blood he said no i'm calling the police on you but i poked him anyways and ran away because you know what they say? Crime is legal if you don't get caught. Wow, I should really not be saying that. I'm not trying to induce crime. Just don't listen to anything I say. Day 36, I spent the entire day trying to grow a creeper. And this was somehow too complicated for me to figure out. So after hours, it felt like I finally understood how to do this. What a damn miracle. Day 37, I made a new gun. This was called the Heavy Rifle, which is basically a sniper. But uh, anyways, I tested this thing out. And holy, this thing was just as effective as cutting a rock with paper. 
I mean, this thing sucked. I then wanted to make some attachments for my guns. So I went out and turned a squid into calamari and stole its ink to make some cool things for my guns. I then fought this thing that apparently ignored 15 updates in evolution. Then later on that night, I made a stock for my shotgun. I don't really know what this thing did, but I guess it looked cool. So, uh... Win-win, I guess. And then I dyed my gun black because uh, stealth, I guess. Uh, so you know that place filled with tons of SCPs? You know, the town we saw like, what, like 30 days ago? Yeah, well, I was gonna go there and uh, see what I could find. Yes, when getting to the place, I somehow triggered a freaking raid. Like, I, I don't know anymore. So it was uh, day 39 and I was still in the town. After I went exploring the town and it seemed, well, it seemed like there was a lot of dead people. Like, like more than usual. After looting the town, I saw this weird girl, but since I'm a hunky, attractive alpha male, she was attracted to me, so I had to euthanize her. That thing's fast! You're fast. You are so fast. I soon found another SCP. Uh, this one was huge, so I went up to it, and well, it didn't, it didn't end well. Oh! 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 Oh, you went fast! Look at him, he has glowing eyes. He's back at 140 HP, I can't kill him. Oh no, he soon chased me and I ran fast, but he was right behind me. He's right behind me. He's right behind me. I gotta, I gotta get to the truck. I gotta get to the truck. Get to the truck. Okay, I'm in the truck. I gotta get one of those houses. He's still after me. Okay, I gotta make a run for it. And it's turning night, I gotta go. Okay, go. Okay, get in, get in. Okay, 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 you can't get in. I then searched the house I was in, and when looking on one of the dead bodies, I found a note. Our community has been attacked by this creature that came from the woods. We are a family of six, and we escaped through the secret vent inside the house. Inside the house, this might be able to be a way where I can escape. Oh, look at this. It's, it's under the sofa. Oh, weird. It's like a secret tunnel or something. Yeah, so I found the survivors of this town. They were they were hiding down here with food, water, even a security system. Like, maybe I should be living down here. All right. It was day 40 and I was ready to make a run for it. So I covered up the hidden vent and looked out the boarded up door. He's right there. Look at him. Just waiting there for me. Since this thing... This, this monster didn't want to move. I came up with a genius plan to, well, slaughter this man. Is he dead? I killed him. I then went on to steal absolutely everything from this town since everyone is dead and no one can stop me. So crime is legal here. I then left the town and did something very stupid. I went to a huge building with like four of these Bonanzilla guys and I literally tried to commit armed robbery. Oh, I don't know if I should do that. Doesn't see me. It's looking at me. It's looking right at me. Okay, get out of here. Go, 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 go. After I finally found my way home. No, wow. Surprising, I'm still alive somehow. I'd be dead by now. I mean, it's day 40 and I'm still alive. I've done like... 20 stupid things already. Day 41, I put up some banners of the men I brutally slaughtered, and then I started to make some castle towers. But since I have the brain the size of a literal pebble, I had no idea how to make a circle. So this this took longer than I am proud to admit, but eventually I did actually get it. And day 42 was filled with moving things, uh, placing things, and building circles. So yeah, this day was awesome. I totally didn't want to jump off of a 10-story build. Day 43, I upgraded some of my furnaces to iron. And once again, I sent myself into extreme poverty since I used every last bit of my iron. And then after adding some decorations to my castle to make it look, you know, more like a castle, I guess. Then night approached and I realized it was a harvest moon, which in this, it basically doubles your harvesting for farming. I mean, it says it in the name, but anyways, since I'm a greedy troll, <laughs> I found a way to completely abuse this. Day 44 and uh, 45, I started with building a fence around the farm, and then I proceeded to have some fun time with this doctor I stole. This is totally not legal. And then I also built some castle walkways across the watchtowers. This place was 
looking really good day 46 nothing really happened i added some decorations and uh also yeah i almost died to a freaking ladder yeah that was close and if i would have died to that i would have been so angry i mean no an scp doesn't kill me but a ladder does you know uh my next 100 days video should be uh i survive 100 days in a ladder apocalypse that would that would be really hard i don't know if i'd be able to do that also i don't want anyone to mention that i almost died to a ladder like no one in the comment section say it and if you're the brave soul that says it um i'll I'll smite you. Anyways, the next two days, I decorated the death ladder and I looked at all the ways I could kidnap animals and grow them inside of a cage. Day 49, I wanted to get some rat pets, but I needed cheese. Uh, the only way to get cheese was to get goat milk, which comes from a goat. So I ventured out and I consentfully kidnapped a goat. Oh, your head's going crazy. Is it really that big of a deal that I'm kidnapping you? I soon brought the goat back home and uh and I made him a confined place where he will never leave. Now I actually need one more thing to make cheese. I needed some shruma fish, which are some rare fish that you can find in the water. So I went searching around in the water to find one so I could uh, steal his DNA. I soon found a flock of them and then extracted their DNA and then finally went home. Wow, day 50. Uh, officially halfway through this 100 day adventure. Anyways, there's no time to gloat because it is time to grow some fish. And finally, when getting some shroom of fish growing, I combined it with goat milk and boom, I got some cheese, which then I turned into some regular cheese to tame rats as pets. All I uh, remember myself doing for today is making my bedroom. So uh, not no, nothing really happened today. I started off the day with placing some chains to hang down from the walkway. I actually really liked it. It, it kind of added some spice to the castle. Then I placed some glass on the roof and uh, finally kidnapped another plague doctor from the side of the road. And then I went back to placing some glass until I ran out. So I needed to travel to get some more sand. And well, this stuff, uh, this stuff was very, very far away. Yeah, no, this was going to be quite the adventure tomorrow. All right, today was the day I was to explore to find some sand to bring back to the base. So I got my things and started the adventure of a lifetime. I soon made it to some sand and got a lot of it. But well, instead of going back home, I decided to go exploring and found this thing. What is that? It's like lying down. I don't know what to do. Do I just smack it? Is this bad? 86243AR-001. It's just sleeping. I decided to take shelter for the night in this gas station right next to this SCP that was sleeping. I soon turned night and this beast awoke. Oh, it's awake. I think it's only awake at night or something. What is that? A black hole that does not look good. Not good at all. All right, so after this moment, I did some research on this thing because I was quite the curious guy. I was wanting to know what this thing was I was, I was standing next to. And well, this thing, this creature, it's called SCP-001 Prototype. And he creates black holes inside of people. And it will compress your insides until you get completely sucked inside. Also, this is one of the most powerful SCPs. And well, before I was literally over him playing goddamn patty cake with his sleeping body. Like he could have killed me right there. Day 54, I woke up and shot that thing with my guns and continued exploring. I went inside this building that looked like it was straight out of Sesame Street. Oh, 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 oh. It's all good. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh, that came out of nowhere. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, that, that literally gave me a minor cardiac arrest. I'm not even kidding. Anyways, I went to another building and well, I heard something kind of strange. What was that sound? What is that? Oh, oh. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So yeah, I decided to do what any person does when handling a fetus. Stick it underwater until it disappears. After literally drowning a poor SCP's child, I stole some knowledge. And then I found another SCP. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, I don't know what, what the hell that thing is, but I, okay, I'm going inside. All right, uh... So day 55, I wanted to get some glowstone for my base. Yeah, this stuff would look pretty good inside. So I took some glowstone and went to go explore this blue house nearby. What's this place? What is that? It looks like a plague doctor. 
After exterminating their doctors inside, I robbed them of all their loot. They had a lot of cool stuff inside. Then after I I did some more exploring. Yeah, this this journey started with getting some sand and now has turned into the whole goddamn Lord of the Rings expedition to Mordor to destroy the ring. Anyways, I made it to the sand place and it had tons of cactuses and some pyramids. Yes, pyramids. And since the inner raging five-year-old in my body wanted to climb anything that's tall, I crawled up the pyramid. I then decided to kill one of these overweight SCPs and play... Am I playing soccer with his fetus? Are you serious? After playing Wii Sports with a fetus that I found from an SCP, I found this huge structure. Whoa, okay. Okay, this is different. This is just a little bit different. I don't know what happened here, but whatever happened here, it was not good. And I see one right there. I soon approached the building and started to raid it. It's got 500 health. I eventually approached the top of this sand structure and I found a bundle of boxes and there was a lot of diamonds in there. I did not feel this worthy with this much diamonds. I mean, I think there was like 40 or something. So this place, yeah, this place was insane. All right, so now it was time to get back home. So I made the travel back home and uh, eventually when I got back there, I enchanted a book for Feather Falling 4. So yeah, no more almost dying to fall damage because that stupid ladder. Anyways, I made that, but uh, I did not have an anvil. No, I remembered that I spent all of my iron on uh, on furnaces. Yeah, that's what I did. I spent like 120 iron on furnaces. I could have used this for much better things. Oh, and also I made a diamond backpack. Let's just say I could carry a lot of things now. I mean, look at that. That's like a double chest or something, right? Day 57, I finished the glass roof. Yep, look at that. No more rain drenching the inside of my base. I then went mining for the rest of the day, searching for some iron. Yeah, I really wanted to craft the anvil so I could put the feather falling enchant on the on the boots. And well, today was spent mining as well. So uh, two days, two days that were uh, very, very uneventful. All right. Beginning of day 59, I decided to place all the things I collected in the mine inside of the furnace. And then I crafted a new mob cage to be able to farm some slime balls because uh, I, I think I needed them for a future build or I needed them for something. And well, finally, after I enchanted a new pair of emerald boots with double jump and feather falling four using the new anvil that I made. Day 60, uh, this was the day I planned to make a gate using the create mod and well, if you've ever heard of this mod, it's it is like the most confusing mod ever to exist. And since I can't even make a redstone powered door, I had to look up only a few hundred YouTube tutorials to figure this out. Well, I started to build it and then I gave up after building the frame and then place glowstone around because uh, that's just what I did. I don't know why I do this. Day 61, I held a rat at gunpoint and forced it to eat the cheese that I made until it loved me. Well, surprisingly, he didn't love me, so I just kidnapped him instead i soon picked up this thing the rat created and well let me tell you they were not jelly beans like i thought they were ew okay i decided to make a rat cage to trap this poor little guy just a little bit more and then later on i worked on this gate thing well i decided to test it out and to my surprise it uh it didn't work at all honestly why am i surprised i am literally the embodiment of a caveman day 62 i figured out how to get the gate working turns out uh i had the rope on the wrong way what <laughs> I can't believe it. I am extremely unintelligent. How did I not notice that? Anyways, I placed the redstone transmitter so I could activate the gate with a click of a button and then I tested it out. And wow, I mean, I can raise a family of five and die of old age before this thing closes. Like, look at this thing. It's insanely slow. I then decorated the gate so it would look, I mean, a little bit less dreadful. So, uh, day 63. Uh, I made a second gate that opened at the same time as each other because, well, it just... It just looked cool. I then covered up all the mechanics and made a cool overview for the top of the castle. Day 64 was, uh, it was good, you know? Placed a security camera inside of the two gates for security reasons, I guess. And well, it did, it did look pretty cool. Day 65, uh, I wanted to make a trap. You know, trap makes a guy like me, uh, very happy. So has anyone seen that, like the movie Star Wars? Yeah, so in the Return of the Jedi, there's like a scene where Jabba uses like a collapsing floor to drop Luke 
into like a pit with a monster. So I wanted to do the exact same thing, but uh, with lava, because I couldn't really get a hold of a monster that would do that kind of stuff. I mean, that'd be really cool, but lava should do the trick. So I placed the thing that turns uh, attached to a gearbox and a uh, fan for power. And then I attach this all to like a radial chassis, um, attached to some stone bricks. Uh, so when I activate it, the, the floor drops. Well, uh, that's what was supposed to happen. And um, <laughs> it did not work at all. All right, day 66. I finally fixed the trap and also added some cameras below so I could watch my enemies cry for help as they slowly disintegrate in molten hot lava. Man, I, I need some serious therapy. Day 67, I uh, I tested out the trap and it, it worked perfectly. I was very surprised. After I went out to find some lava because, well, I, I needed some for the trap and I had absolutely no lava. I soon got some lava and uh, headed back home. And then later on, I was like, oh, it'd be a great idea to not keep my distance from this SCP. Yeah, no, uh, this happened. I can't, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. I can't hit it. Oh, I can't hit it. I can't hit it. Oh no, what do I do? Oh, that's so bad. I literally can't hit it. I mean, I just don't learn at all. If I see an SCP, I, I just go over there and ask if it wants to go for dinner. I mean, I just don't keep my distance. I then place the lava in the trap and finally decided to rub it up dub play in my molten hot lava tub. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Why did I do that? I later tested out the trap on a poor innocent creeper and well, it worked perfectly. The next two days, uh, I started off by placing a diamond helmet on one of my rats. And then after I made a garbage area where my rats can spawn, and also rats can be attracted to. Because, well, uh, I made this thing that in which if it's powered with redstone, it attracts any nearby rats in the wild. So, uh, this thing, this thing was pretty useful. Three words. I went mining. Day 71, I decided to poison my insides by, uh, doing some drugs. I don't know if this is a good thing, just poke myself with a syringe that I don't even know what it does. Oh, nice. Nausea three for four minutes. That was such a mistake. And while literally on the edge of puking on my computer because of a, this stupid nausea effect, I decided to make a warrior upgrade for my rat. Uh, this thing, this thing gives them some more health, uh, attack damage and armor. So th it was pretty good. And well, uh, apparently I wasn't done with the upgrades because I added some wings to him, to to my rat. Yes, like literal wings. Wow, look at this. It makes me feel like I'm in a goddamn fever dream. Day 72, I uh, made another rat upgrade for my rat friend. So what I did was uh, I made him completely fireproof. I then made some more rat cages to fit some more rats inside and uh, and tried to tame these rats that were acting just, uh, just a little bit weird. They okay? They want out for some reason? I don't really know why. Yeah, so if uh, if any rats don't listen to you, just shoot them eh, with your shotgun. That always seems to do the trick. Day 73, I went outside and the rats in my cage were carrying the plague. Violent virus that you never want to catch. Okay, 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 okay. That is scary. Wait, I have the plague. And yeah, this guy cured me. And if I remember, I think later I actually killed him for some reason. So yeah, he saves me and uh, I turn and uh, slaughter him. Yep, uh, fair trade. Soon after, I saw a fly that was uh, lagging in real life. So I picked him up and let him go in my base. There you go, fly. Have fun, fly. No, he's he's not having fun. <laughs> he's literally trying to run for his life. All right, so after, I wanted to go to the nether. So I built a portal and decorated it. I then took my first steps into this unknown place. And let me tell you, the nether, the nether was an adventure. What is that? Okay, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Oh, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's throwing stuff at me. What is that thing? Okay, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Day 74, I tested out my flying rat experiment on this test subject. Punch the zombie. Does it attack? Oh my, this thing is insane. And then I went to the nether. I uh, I soon arrived and 
when exploring, and the first thing I saw was a happy family of piglins, so I decided to just leave them alone. Oh. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. I later came across this uh, weird biome, and well, I heard some things. I uh, wish I hadn't. What? Soon I came across a piglin base. I don't know what these things are called, but uh, I decided to raid it anyways. Ooh. Oh, those are, that's good, isn't it? Tons of gold. That, okay, okay, I'll take it. I soon got enough stuff to call it a day and headed back home. That was so stupid. I could have died there. So I noticed that the gates were closing like super slow and I wanted to speed it up. So today I made a windmill and then linked it up to the gates. And uh, wow, that's all I did today apparently. Day 76, I was continuing connecting the windmill to the gates and then I set this thing up. In which if you place like a big cogwheel attached to a small cogwheel and keep doing the exact same thing, it basically doubles the speed of the system. I don't know how this works. It doesn't even make any sense. Day 77, I tested out the windmill powering gate. Well, it was a lot quicker. I mean, this thing, uh, this with this windmill was amazing. After getting the windmill up and running, I noticed that the windmill thing I built, uh, it, it looked absolutely atrocious. I mean, uh, this thing had to take some friggin' Harry Potter magic to make this thing look good. Day 78, I, uh, I made a separate cage for rats. Introducing the love den. A place where rats can sit down, you know, have a fun time, like talk, play with toys, and, uh, have sex. After I went outside and felt like committing rat genocide for fun. Oh god, I feel so bad about this. Oh god. Yeah, I like literally murdered a whole town of rats. There was like 25 of them. They were all dead in like one or two slices. After I decided to explore to find some cows, uh, yeah, I needed some cow milk to make an upgrade for one of my rats. So I uh, went out exploring in search for some AAA ground beef. And when exploring, I... Uh, I actually ran into uh, SCP-096. This guy, uh, this guy is not to be messed with. No, uh, one look at his face and he will sprint towards you at uh, supersonic speeds and will uh, kill you in one shot. You're dead just like that. Can't even defend against this guy. No shooting guns, like guns don't kill him. Y you can't kill this guy. Uh, so the only way to not get killed by this guy is to not look at his face. Bro, what is that? It's like a ghost thingy that walks. That's so weird. I was still looking for some cows after until I ran into a little bit of a problem. Oh! Oh no. Oh no, it's still after me. I gotta go. I gotta get to my base. It's right behind me. It's right behind me. It's right behind me. It's right behind me. Close! Oh! Oh! I finally got into the base and uh, went to sleep, or, or at least tried to. Day 79, uh, you know, it didn't look too well for me. Yeah, I had a deadly SCP outside my door. And well, I didn't know how I would, uh, I would escape this place. It didn't look too good. I have to open the door and just run. I'm gonna have to just run. Somehow I'm gonna have to do this. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's right there. Oh, go, go, go. Oh my god! There's, there's so many. Oh. Go, 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 go. There was another SCP in there. Are you kidding me? I soon lost him and continued my search for the cows to steal. Later, I finally found a cow. Anyways, I took this little guy home and uh, tossed him in a cage with the goat to live forever in my captivity. Day 80, I made a chef upgrade for my rat, which basically makes him into a uh, ratatouille. Pretty cool. This was, this was awesome. I mean, this guy can cook items that you give to him. This guy was amazing. I mean, I had so much fun with him. Day 81, I decided to try to make a rat upgrade, but I needed something only plague doctors could sell. So I decided to go to the nether and try to find one of them. What? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yes, are you kidding me is right. I mean, they were just waiting for me. Anyways, I was not done yet because something else was after me. Oh, the whole army came. I soon killed all the zombie pigmen and as well as the zombies inside. And well, while doing that, 
something. Killed the plague doctor. Yes, the exact one that saved me from when I had the plague from before. I mean, I feel extremely bad about this one. Anyways, I actually decided to give up and uh, make some gold furnaces. After that, I decided to waste one netherite ingot on making a pig step music disc. So this was not the greatest decision I've ever made. But anyways, I started to dance the rest of the night until I got bored and finally made the rat upgrade I was trying to make from before. The rat upgrade that I made basically allows it so the rat rides another rat that is much bigger and looks like it has been growing on a bone marrow. And then I made another upgrade to it. I made it so he's like a skeleton. So uh, yeah, these guys together looked... Pretty cursed, not gonna lie. Day 82, uh, I made a chef platter for a ratatouille, so now I can give him a stack of items. And he will cook every single one for me. Soon after, I found out something really cool. So you can make assorted vegetables and then give it to ratatouille, and he makes something that is, uh, well, it is absolutely insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at how much hearts it gave me. Day 83, uh... I wanted to test out my rat army that I've created. So I brought them towards the building that was swarmed with SCPs and then finally charged into battle. Oh God, this is such a bad idea. Let's go. Where are they? Kill them. Oh no. This is such a bad idea. Kill them. Kill them! Later on, I decided to add a love decoration to the love den so that I could breed some rats for my own personal gain. 84. I decided to grab a female rat and breed it with a male rat to make some rat babies. Now, if there is one thing to note, do not leave the rat in the same cage as the baby rat because, uh, they will actually try to eat the baby. And I don't really feel like watching a rat baby being eaten alive by their parents because that's pretty freaking disturbing so i just kept them separate soon i decided to force a rat to farm i gave it an upgrade and well he decided to use european witch magic and uh did a whole goddamn virtual Day 85 i decided to replace the oak fence with iron bars so it looks more like a prison for my rat slave i mean well-paid worker with uh, lots of rights. anyways i tried to get him to work but he didn't want to I mean, might have been because I wasn't paying him anything or beating him anything. And I'm not even sure if he knows how to farm. Well, you know what I do to rats that don't work? I uh, let them free and don't harm them at all. Day 86, I tried to make a new rat to do my farming and uh, it still didn't work. I mean, I looked up like 15 different 2012 YouTube tutorials but I still couldn't get this to work. So I uh, just gave up, made an archer rat to expand my army of rats just a bit more. Day 86, I made a rat banner for my archer rat. And then I made a lapis shield because uh, it looked cool, I guess. Day 88, I had some hardcore drugs for breakfast. And then I noticed the weather changed. Oh, hey, it's snowing. Whoa! And then after I came up with a stupid, uh, a very stupid idea. Yeah, I was gonna trap one of these guys, one of these creatures. So I went out and hunted down this thing. Okay, he's following me. Yeah, he's following me. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is so stupid. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. I have to get him in here and trap him. Oh, I trapped him. I got him. Look. Just hopefully he doesn't break out because I'll be a very dead man. Yeah, I would, uh... I would stand no chance against that thing. The next two days, I went exploring with my rat army. I eventually approached this area with uh, a lot of SCPs. So with my rat army by my side, we dominated this place. It soon approached night, and I needed to take shelter. So I took my rats inside the house and waited the rest of the night. Day 91, I found this army base or something, but I was like super curious, so I went to investigate. It's another one of those things. There's like a bunch of security cameras everywhere. I soon decided to come back here at night so I could sneak in with, uh, with no one seeing me. That would be really bad if anyone saw me sneaking around that place. So I went home and, well, something, uh, something really sad happened. Oh, no! <gasps> no! Oh, he died. It, uh, soon approached night and I took my archer rat to the army base to stealthily raid it. I eventually approached the base and decided to sneak in. Man, uh, this is gonna be one hell of a fight. Oh!
After stealing everything from the army base, I tested this cool machete thing on a zombie. Try it on this guy. Oh! I then also found a bazooka. I'm gonna use it on this guy. I mean, I was like shooting everything. When arriving at home, I finally fed my SCP, but I caught like a goddamn Pokemon. Day 94, I uh, placed some security cameras that I borrowed without giving back from the army base. And well, that's all I did. Day 95, I wanted to go exploring again. And well, I wanted to see what I could find out there. After some time of exploring, I found this huge town and it, it has a dead person in front of it. The city of the Flemed. Do not enter, very dangerous. I soon broke past the barbed wire, and well, there were thousands of dead people here. Yeah, so I just decided to uh, loot this place uh, as much as possible. Yeah, I spent the entire day exploring and uh, looting this place. When I was finished, I found a lot of diamonds, so I was ready to head back home. So instead of going to bed and waiting for the morning like a normal person, I uh, I went back during the night. Day 97, I had to shoot a whole bunch of plague rats, and then I decided to place some barbed wire along the entrance of the base so no creatures could get inside. And then I, I thought, uh, what could I do? Oh yeah, let's trap another SCP. So I went out and found an overweight monster and gave him a workout. <gasps> Got him. I soon trapped him and uh, I was very happy about my life. Today was the day I was to travel to the SCP Foundation, a place that is crawling with dangerous SCPs that can end me in an instant. So with that being said, I grabbed my new warrior rat and traveled to this lab. I soon arrived. And I was astounded. I eventually took my first steps into the foundation. I was, uh, I was in for quite the challenge. It's around this corner. <gasps> There's two of those things. One's coming after me. What are these sounds? Snack guy? What does this say? I like snacks. <laughs> I guess he died where he was most happy. On a vending machine. I eventually approached a prison. This was the prison that uh, kept all their test subjects, as I like to call them. Anyways, after I made my way out and uh, looked in the file storage, I found something that could definitely come in handy later. What's this? Security codes? Level 5 security codes. 1495. Better keep that. I assume we're ready to go to the second level. And well, as you go up there, uh, the more dangerous it gets. Okay, let's go up here slowly. <gasps> so many people died here. And I hear something up there that's definitely not human. SCP-173. Look at this thing. It's like a dinosaur. And I was now onto level three of this foundation. So I broke the boards and went to face whatever was up there. Okay, here we go. Oh, I have never been that scared in my life. Did you see that? I mean, I got so scared I threw my shotgun. I mean, I don't even think I've been that scared before in my life. Like my heart literally stopped for a second there. Well, after catching my breath, I continue exploring this place. Look at that. Isn't that Among Us character? That is the scariest thing ever. I do not want to go up there. Look, it's an Among Us guy. What is that? It's like a horse. I got a minigun. Are you kidding me? I have a minigun now. Now I was ready to go to the last floor. Oh! Okay, uh, never mind. I'm terrified. I soon went to the last floor and found this thing. What is that? I then wanted to go inside each of these cells using the security codes and uh, take these SCP beasts out uh, one at a time, starting with an Anzilla. I then fought the second one, and well, it was stuck in the wall and uh, had no chance. And now it's time to fight SCP-682, a fearsome beast that will definitely kill me. So I uh, shot him through the glass and approached him inside. Did I kill it? Whoa, look at this loot. And he got resurrected. I knew that there was only one way to kill this beast and put an end to these SCPs. Placed some high explosive TNT and lit it and ran for my life. It soon exploded and he died. I did it. I killed every single SCP inside the facility. It was uh, day 100. 
I finally defeated the facility, the SCP Foundation. So I, uh, escaped through the roof and made my way back home. Can't believe it. I saved this world from SCPs. I mean, everything can return back to normal, finally. This, uh, this is what I thought I did. Let's see, when I triggered the explosive, I disrupted a signal containing an SCP below the foundation. This thing, uh... This thing can destroy worlds, and I just released it. So this, uh, this was the beginning of the SCP apocalypse. If you want to see a 200 Days Part 2, then uh, leave a like. If we get 7,000 likes, I'll continue and save this world from total collapse. Anyways, if you liked the video and want to see more, consider subscribing and uh, join the Discord. Link in the description. Alright, well, with that being said, I'm the best Minecraft player ever. I didn't even die once. Where's that thing? Okay! Okay! Okay. Oh, I'm dead. Whoa, what is that thing? Oh, he does a lot of damage. This whiskey is not helping. Oh no. Maybe I can kill it? <gasps> or not.